everyone, it's Samantha from Vanilla Mom and today I've got a planner review type of video for you guys. And this is when I realized, when I ordered this, I realized I've really gone off the planner deep end here. I've already ordered two planners for this year and this will be my third planner for this year. I have been following Emily on Instagram for years and years before she got pregnant with her twins, before they were born, all that stuff. And I've just, I don't know, I've always just been drawn to her Instagram. She just has this happiness about her, and this simplicity to life, the enjoying the moments type of style. I definitely strive for that kind of a lifestyle. I really try to enjoy the moments, relish the small things. Her Instagram really just inspires me and I've been seeing her planner. You know, she posts her planner stuff here and there, but mostly it's lifestyle. And it's just one of those planners that I've always wanted to check out and just never have checked out. So I finally decided to check it out. She had posted that she had a few of them and she put a discount on them. So I got this one for maybe like $10 off, something like that. I think maybe eight or $10. And so I just went for it. I ordered it. I didn't even blink as soon as I saw it and it was on a discount. I'm like, I am ordering one. I don't care that I have two planners. And that's when I realized I've gone off the planner deep end. I'm gonna have to figure out which planner I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna show you guys this planner. I have used it for a couple of days, so I'll tell you guys what I've liked and what I've not liked about it. But I have really loved this one. Maybe more than my plum paper planner. Maybe not quite as much as my plum paper planner. I really haven't decided yet, but I, I'm in love. I definitely love my plum paper planner and I definitely love this one. So this one comes in a really nice box. The one thing I do want to mention is this one is made in China. I'm not super thrilled about that because a lot of the planners these days are made in the US. But this one is a China made one which is a disappointing but I still ended up ordering it. So it comes in the box. It was bubble wrapped um, and in a protective layer. so. It was going to stay safe in shipping and then this box came in a bigger box. It was very, very protected. I ended up getting the daily planner, which is something different for me. I don't usually get a daily planner. I get a weekly spread planner. So this is a daily planner and this is called the Happy Stripe, this um, striped pattern. I've always loved anything bright and colorful. So this one was the one I got. It's got a goldish bronzy type of coil and this is a different coil than I'm used to getting. I used to do a lot of journaling at night and I used to get this kind of coil notebook with the thick cardboard covers. I really love the cardboard covers. I wish the other planners would come with a thicker cover. The laminated ones are pretty thick, but they're not, you know, they're not heavy duty like this. So I was instantly, you know, in love with the cover on this one. Now these rings are a little bit more flimsy because of the design of them, but I feel like it'll still hold up pretty well and you know my book flips nicely so I'm not worried about the, the um, coil too much. But this planner has a pocket in the front and what I like about this pocket is it is angled up so things won't fall out as easily. And I've noticed with my plum paper planner I've got the straight pocket just like down at the bottom in the back of the planner and um, things fly out of it all the time. As soon as I go to pick up my planner, things are falling out of that pocket. So I don't even use it at this point. I've had really bad trouble with my 2016 planner. Stuff just flies out of the pocket. So this planner is really simple. It's called the Simplified Planner and she really nailed it with that. It's super simple. There's not a lot of pre-planning stuff. There's not a lot of extra pages. There's not a lot of fluff in the planner. And that is just, that definitely speaks to my heart. I don't like all the super fluffy stuff. I do like notebook paper, but I can always get a notebook if I'm gonna use this one completely and not use anything else. Um, so there's the cover. I did end up testing out markers because this paper is super duper thin. I don't know if you can see, but you can see the lines through that. Yeah, you can see, you can see the paper super duper thin. It is daily, so there's a page a day in this one. And look how thin it is. For being 365 days worth of daily pages, this thing is super thin and that's because the paper is thin. So I'm not super thrilled about the paper quality. I do love the plum paper planner paper, but I do like that this one's not, you know, like a five inch planner. It's a nice sleek planner. So I did test out my favorite pens up there. I do have pen favorite videos and I don't know if you guys can see, there's definitely 
shadowing on there. Let's see if I can zoom in. There we go. Okay. And you can see definitely there's some shadowing on all the pens, just slightly. Not a super huge deal. They didn't really bleed through, but they definitely shadow through this paper. So that's a little bit, you know, something you're going to have to get used to. But I thought since it's daily pages, I can live with that because you're just going to be using the page, you know, for one day and then getting rid of it. She does give you like her philosophy to planning and simplifying, which I liked. It comes with a year at a glance right there, and then it comes with a bucket list, which I thought was cool. This is like all of the pre-planning that you get is this one page bucket list style thing. You get a quote. It tells you a little bit about the pineapple, and then you move straight into the planner. So really no fluff in this one. Here's the month at a glance calendar. They do have the calendar um, marked with the holidays on here. There's always a quote at the top. There's always the pineapple and then the tab. One thing I do like about this one is the tab is actually on the month page. So if this were to be my planner for everyday use, it's super simple to just flip to any month's at a glance thing, which I love. The Lime Life Planner and the Plum Paper Planner both have a page and then the monthly calendar. And that just does not work for me that great. I really tend to flip through it a lot more. I always have to see my month at a glance. I use it for my YouTube stuff right now. So that right there is one reason I absolutely love this planner. You can just flip to any month you want and see that monthly calendar. That is crucial to me. And that's a almost a deal breaker for the Plum Paper Planner because it is kind of a hassle to flip constantly. I, I am constantly flipping to those monthly pages. But anyway, the drawback to this system where the tab is actually the calendar, um, you're left with the tab page being really flimsy. So like I said, the paper's really thin. That's your tab. So I'm not sure how well that will hold up throughout a year of use, but I still really like it. And the other downside to their particular tabs is these things feel super flimsy to me. Not that they're going to like mess up or anything, but they're just not nice and sturdy like the Plum Paper Planner tabs. They do stick out further than the other tabs, so that might be part of why they feel so flimsy to me, but they just they feel really flimsy. They are laminated, but it's just not very thick. And another thing, and I'm not sure that you can see this on the camera, I'm going to try to zoom in. But the way these are done is they're like punched out versus like laminated over so you can feel the edges of them and it's very subtle and probably a lot of people wouldn't care about this but i notice it and it kind of bugs me just as like an aesthetic thing is some of them look to be punched to where the edges kind of curl down and then some of them were punched on the opposite side on this side so it looks like the edges curl up and so it just looks different from tab to tab. And I'm pretty sure you're not gonna be able to see what I'm talking about, but I'm gonna kind of rotate this a little bit in hopes that you can catch what I'm seeing. Okay, you can maybe see it in the, the light that catches them. These ones look like they're curving down the August and these ones down. And then this July tab, it's curling up. The June tab's curling down, the May tab's curling up. Um, April, March, and February, and January are all curling up. So maybe the light's hitting them a little bit different. So it just looks a little bit different if you're looking at it really closely. And again, most people probably wouldn't care, but it kind of bugs me. Just something to note that they weren't all uniform. Whether or not, you know, the tabs curling up or down, they should all be uniform, and they're definitely not. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and move in, show you the month at a glance. It's got a little line of note area right there, which is cute. And then you move straight into the daily pages. And this is actually a really good one to show you guys. This is how the weekdays are set up. You get a page for each day, and then the weekends are set up like this. You get each on half of a page, which makes it a little bit different, but I love the daily pages. Like I'm obsessed with this style of page now. I really love it. It works really great for me. It's like my plum paper planner and my Lime Life planner combined into one because I got the two different layouts. So you get the hourly list. It goes from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. You get a line for each hour 
and then you get a to-do list. It already has the little circles as the check boxes. You get a big box for dinner and a big box for notes. Then the weekend pages are set up a little bit different. The weekend, there's no hours on it, but you still get that to-do list. And then between the two weekend days, there's this section that says a happy memory from this week. It's just a good way to you know, write about something good that happened to keep those good memories in your mind. And then you could flip back and see them if you want to. And then the Sunday's always set up the same way. She has these tasks already written in as four of your first tasks. Instead of a to-do list, this one's called weekly prep. So it says plan meals for the week ahead, tidy up for a clean slate on Monday, write tasks appointments for the week, and fill your quote-unquote tank. Um, enjoy what matters most. So... Those are her like simplicity um, things to shoot for, which I like. I like that it already has that kind of built in to the planner. And then each page is set up the same way. So the weekdays are always um, a page a day and the weekends are always two days on one page. And then when you get to the end, it goes straight from the last day of the month to the next month on a glance calendar. So that's how the whole planner is set up. It's just, you know, page after page of a daily planner. So I'll show you, I've been using it a little bit here. I started using it on the weekend and what I really liked about it was I could fill in the little to-do list things. I really like that. And for the weekend days, I went ahead and wrote my dinners as like the last lines on the page. And then here we are, this is today, when I'm actually filming this. I'm not sure when you guys are gonna see it, but I crossed off things that didn't happen. Um, if it's a, t a task, I kind of do the bullet journal style. I cross it off and migrate it to the next day with an arrow. For my dinner section, I write all the meals out. If it's crock pot day, I always try to <laughs> make that part of my to-do list because I just totally forget sometimes to start the crock pot. And then it's, you know, dinner time and I'm like, oh no, I didn't start the crock pot. What do I do? I'm trying to scramble at the last minute. So now I'm making that part of my to-do list. Anyway, um, I also wrote my videos that I want to get filmed at the bottom. Today and yesterday were my filming days. I went ahead and wrote those at the bottom there. And notes, I wrote my target um, shopping list in one. I was kind of brainstorming the night before and wrote that there. And I haven't used my notes for today yet. But I really feel like this one page on a day really keeps me um, organized. I don't know, seeing the whole week spread out together, sometimes that can be overwhelming to me to look at all the tasks throughout the whole week. And this way I'm just narrowing it down to just today, just living today and trying to get as much done today as I can. And so it really has, um, I don't know, it's really narrowed my focus. So I'm really loving this one. I've said really like a thousand times. <laughs> Anyway, I just love it. Um, so moving to the end of the planner, it just goes till the end. So there's the last days of the year. It gives you January 1st, I assume, because it's the weekend. And then the last page is blank. And on the back here, it says a standard of grace, not perfection. And you get the last cover. And it's hard to close it like that because of that, the way this binder is done. You can see that's how this coil is done. So you have to actually flip everything back forward instead of flip that um, last page back. But anyway, I really have loved using it the last few days. I could totally see myself using this one over my plum paper planner. Um, I don't like the paper quite as much, but at the end of the day, I love the setup of it so much. And you know, the tabs being right on that monthly spread that I'm just really, I just really love this one. I really haven't decided which one I wanna use right now. The Lime Life Planner I'm using as like a pre-preschool organization for Olivia and I, and right now she's just kind of too young to schedule too many activities during a day and too many kind of things that um, can be planned hour to hour. Her schedule is just a little bit unpredictable, so I'm still not using that as much as I'd like to use it. Um, so I probably will end up starting to use that sometime in this year when she's old enough to really get on some sort of a, a routine for learning and exploring new stuff. I really want to like do a ton of Pinterest um, sensory things with her and she's just not quite old enough to do a lot of them yet. 
So we'll definitely get into the Lime Life Planner later in this year. So it's really gonna be me choosing between the Simplified Planner and the Plum Paper Planner and using one or the other. But anyway, I just wanted to share this with you guys and tell you guys all my thoughts on it, show it to you guys. And she sells out of these really quickly. So definitely if you're interested in um, purchasing a Simplified Planner for um, 2017, I would definitely join her mailing list and check her out on Instagram and places where she's gonna tell you about when they go live. But yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you like planner videos. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.